this Franchise and Concession Review Committee public meeting will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mayor? Yes. Office of the Mayor? Here. Comptroller? Here. Corporation Council? Here. Office of Management and Budget? Here. President, Borough of the Bronx? Here. President, Borough of Brooklyn? Here. President, Borough of Manhattan? Here. President, Borough of Queens? Here. President, Borough of Staten Island? Here. Please call the first calendar item. New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, calendar item number one, in the matter of the intent to seek franchise and concession review committee approval to utilize a different procedure pursuant to section 1-16 of the concession rules of the City of New York to enter into an amended and restated license agreement between the City of New York acting by and through the Department of Parks and Recreation and Randall's Island Park Alliance Incorporated, formerly known as Randall's Island Sports Foundation, Incorporated and Sports Times Clubs, LLC, formerly known as Island Tennis LP, doing business as Sports Time for the construction, expansion, renovation, operation, maintenance, and management of a year-round tennis facility at Randall's Island Park, Manhattan. Changes to the concession documents have been distributed to the committee. Uh, so the Parks Department will read changes into the record. Thank you. The following changes have been made to the agreement um, since uh, Monday's hearing. There are general edits in the document to correct typographical and formatting errors and to conform section references and definitions, such as capitalizing the words federal and state. Also, <clears throat> section 2.1L is clarified in the definition of licensee special events regarding the instances where the licensee must receive Parks' prior written approval. Section 4.5A clarifies the required gross receipts reports in order to match the current Parks approved practice. Additionally, the section is clarified to permit licensee to adjust the information set forth in its monthly gross receipts reports and draft income and expense statements prior to the issuance of licensee's audited reports. Section 10.1HI is clarified as to what is meant by available tennis courts. Those courts not closed due to construction, repairs, the erection or disassembly of inflatable air structures and closing such courts, governmental action, physical condition which renders them unfit or unsafe to use, a park special event, or other closure approved by parks are available. However, no court shall be counted as unavailable because a licensee special event is being held on the court. A new section 10.16b adds language regarding licensee screening and hiring of employees who work primarily with children. Article 41 is clarified to include in the definition of renegotiation event the denial by our governmental authority to grant a permit or approval required for the prosecution of the phase two capital improvements beyond any right of appeal regardless of licensee's compliance with such governmental authority's condition. A new exhibit A2 clarifies the full extent of the expanded licensed premises. Exhibit C now contains an example of the approved format of the gross receipts report. Exhibit D1 now clarifies the original license agreement's capital improvements exhibit reference to the current and the new facilities. Those terms were applied at the time of the original license agreement was executed and no longer. Exhibit D2 is clarified to include the total number of tennis courts once the phase two capital improvements are completed, including which are indoor only and which are indoor slash outdoor. And finally, a new exhibit I, which is referenced in the new section 10.16b, sets forth requirements for licensee screening and hiring of employees who work primarily with children. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there a member who wishes to make a statement or ask a question on this matter? Thank you. Uh, first, the controller's office would like to thank the Parks Department, uh, Randall's Island Park Alliance, and uh, the proposed concessionaire for meeting with us concerning this project. We'd also like to acknowledge the strong community support for the project. We note that when the step one approval came to the FCRC, 
the Parks Department provided us with information setting out the extraordinary circumstances of this project. Since then, the city has negotiated with the proposed concessionaire for a privately funded project with a minimum capital investment of $20 million, which will include, among other things, the significant expansion and renovation of the current tennis facilities on Randall's Island. New courts, including several courts optimal for new players under 10 or those with limited mobility, uh, as well as proposed concessionaires' agreement to install ball field lighting and provide funding to parks for enhancements to one or more existing community facilities. At step one, we noted our expectation that parks would keep in mind the benefits to the city and community as it negotiated this agreement. For instance, we expected parks to take into account the anticipated increase in court inventory and obtain significant increased compensation to the city. We also saw parks assurance, and we understand that the agreement contains obligations to increase community program for local youth, programming I should say, for local youth, increase scholarship opportunities for students, as well as to improve and increase access for members of the public who hold New York City tennis permits. The controller's office again notes that construction of this project is anticipated to take between 18 and 24 months. We previously raised questions about the amount of disruption and inconvenience to the public. We note that Post concessionaire has agreed to use its best efforts to minimize the extent to which the public's use of Randall's Island and Ward's Island Park, including the tennis courts, are disrupted in connection with proposed concessionaire's construction, expansion, renovation, and maintenance of the license premises. The controller's office further suggested the parks negotiate appropriate compensation to the city in the event that construction results in more than a minimal disruption or inconvenience to the public or in a decrease in concession revenue. We understand that in response, proposed concessionaires agreed to a million dollar annual minimum guarantee to the city after construction begins. This guarantee is required throughout the construction period, and once this expanded facility opens during the term of the agreement, the annual minimum guaranteed revenue to the city will increase on an annual basis. We understand that consideration was given by parks and RIPA to the appropriate structure, structure for public court access, and we note that the concession will, for the first time, provide tennis permit holders with lighted courts. However, given the length of the term of this agreement, we recommend that parks and RIPA conduct a periodic assessment of the amount, timing, and season of court access, including public including the public satisfaction with it, in order to ensure adequate public benefit from this concession. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, do other members have statements or questions on this matter? Uh, I want to thank uh, Randall's Island Park Alliance and Sport Time and the Parks Department. Uh, I know when we were letter waited on this, uh, they you know had extensive comments and that uh, you all worked hard to to meet their uh, concerns. You know, increased scholarships, community programming, field lighting at the ball fields, and uh, we're really appreciative of that. You know, in addition to the significant capital improvements that the which will inure to the city's uh, benefit under this. Uh, we understand that currently, uh, from the community board, Sport Time does a good job reporting back to them on scholarships and community programming, and we just uh, ask that uh, you continue that, and you know, we expect you to continue that. Uh, so we thank you for that as well. And finally, we urge the city, Randall's Island Park Alliance, and Sport Time to push the MTA with regard to making Randall's Island more accessible by public transportation so that people can more people can have an easier time uh, accessing you know these improvements. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, will a member please make a motion to move this item? Okay. Will another member please second the motion? Okay. Will the clerk please take the vote? Mayor? Yes. Office of the Mayor? Yes. Comptroller? Yes. Corporation Council? Yes. Office of Management and Budget? Yes. On behalf of the Borough Presidents? President Borough of Manhattan? Yes. Calendar item number one, resolution is adopted. Will the clerk please call the second calendar item? New York City Department of Parks and Recreation, uh, calendar item number two in the matter of the intent to seek Franchise and Concession Review Committee approval to utilize a different procedure pursuant to Section 1-16 of the Concession Rules of the City of New York 
to negotiate an amendment to the existing concession agreement between Parks and Surf Avenue Parking, LLC, for the renovation, operation, and maintenance of parking facilities at MCU Park, Coney Island, Brooklyn. Is there a member who wishes to make a statement or ask a question on this matter? Control. Uh, yes, we just would like to uh, make a request that an RFP be issued as soon as it's practicable in this matter. Thanks. Thank you. Any other? Yes. I just had a question about the completion date. Um, it did say that the completion date was uncertain and that the permit expires in uh, early 2019. Is there any idea? Uh, do you have any idea when the completion date will be determined? Parks expects that the uh, transfer to EDC will be complete uh, before the end of 2019. Any additional questions or statements? Then will a member please make a motion to move this item? Will another member please second? Second. Will the clerk please take the vote? Mayor? Yes. Office of the Mayor? Yes. The Comptroller? Yes. The Corporation Council? Yes. Office of Management and Budget. Yes. On behalf of the Borough Presidents, Borough, I'm sorry, President, Borough of Brooklyn. Yes. Calendar item number two, resolution is adopted. We ask that the reporter make the entire public meeting agenda, which was made publicly available and distributed as at this meeting, part of the final record of this proceeding. That completes the calendar. Thank you. Meeting adjourned.